Hey guys, it's Meg. Welcome to my first Wednesday video. Um, I'm really excited about getting to post this and getting to do this because what I'm going to do today is I'm going to answer 20 questions. Some are from um, you guys, some are from that I just got online or just wanted to answer and wanted to tell you guys about. So, And I also have two little other things to tell you about after, but let's just start off with the questions. All right, so question one, what fandoms are you a part of? I am obviously a part of Harry Potter, um, and I also love Percy Jackson, and um, Narnia, and Witch and Wizard, Lord of the Ring, the Match Trilogy, Lord of the Rings, I'm sorry, I just said Lord of the Ring, um, Star Wars, and anything that has, that John Green's written, and, um, any of that kind of genre, I love, um, I'm a nerd fighter, um, Alright, so next question. Number two, what's your favorite color? My favorite color is lime green. I'm wearing a lime green shirt, which I totally didn't mean to do, but it just worked out like that. Um, number four, uh, favorite Harry Potter merchandise. It's this, and on the back it um, has the dragon that the trio is riding from the seventh one, and on the front it has platform nine and three quarters, and I love it because it like symbolizes the beginning to the end. Um, okay. I skipped number three. Number three, top five-ish favorite books. Um, it's pretty much all of the fandoms that I love. So, all seven Harry Potters, the Percy Jackson, the Match Trilogy, Witch and Wizard, all of those, um, that I said earlier. I just love them so much. And The Fault in Our Stars, and things like that. Um, number five, what sports do you play? I just play soccer, and that's it. Um, number six, it, what instruments do you play? Um, I play the clarinet, and um, I might do a video where I play something uh, where I play something for you guys, um, but I'm not sure yet. So um, tell me in the comments if you want me to, um, or if you want me to play anything in particular. I'll see if I can. Um, okay, number eight: paper or plastic. Um, I prefer paper. My family uses plastic, but um, I prefer paper because it's biodegradable, and I'm a huge environmentalist. Okay, what's your favorite? Number nine, what's your favorite song? Um, I don't really have a specific favorite song, but if I had to pick one, it'd be The Ballad of Love and Hate by the Avett Brothers. I just really love that song, and it's really pretty. So if you don't know it, you should Google it or look it up on YouTube because it's really awesome. Number ten, if you were stranded on a deserted island, what three things would you bring and why? Um, I would bring a hammock, bear grills, and a machete. Um, number 12, if you had to be a teacher of something, what would you teach? I would either teach transfiguration or defense against the dark art. Um, number 13, what's your favorite season? My favorite season is spring. Um, I love it how all the flowers come out and everything's all happy. Um, number 14, do you see the glass is half empty or half full? I like to think that I see it as half full because I think I'm an optimist. I usually look at the bright side of things. Um, number 15, what's the farthest away place you've been? I've been to Greece and Turkey, which from where I am is really far. Um, but yeah, I've been to Ephesus, which is in Turkey, and I'm pretty sure that's the farthest from where I am. Um, are you a good cook? I also like to think so. <laughs> um, I... There was one point where I wanted to be a chef, a professional chef, but I changed my mind because I just did. <laughs> um, number 17, are you allergic to anything? I'm allergic to cats, and so that's why I'm a dog person. I actually have a dog. She's so cute. Her name is Ginger. Um, I'll show you a picture of her maybe at some point. Um, 18. What did you want to be when you grow up? When you grew up, um, well, I'm still growing up technically, but when I was really little, I really wanted to be a ballerina. But then I realized I can't dance. Yeah. <laughs> Number 19. What house are you? Um, I'm a Hufflepuff, a very proud Hufflepuff. So is Cynthia, and um, we're both very proud of our house. Um, and number 20. Are you on Pottermore? If so, what do you think of it? What house were you sorted into, and do you think you were sorted accur accurately? Um, I am on Pottermore. Um, I'm Nightfeather97. I'll put my um, username in the description. Um, I was a beta, so I got in in August of last year. Um, I was really, really excited when it first came out. 
um, like everyone was, and then, um, so I, I got through the whole book, and I'm not really good at potions, but I did wizard, I did duels once it ca at came out, and I did spells before dueling came out, but I've kind of, like, I've kind of gotten boring, bored with it, but I'm really excited for when Chamber of Secrets comes out, because that's kind of what I'm relying on to get back into it. Um, and I was sorted into Hufflepuff, so yes, I do think I was sorted accurately, because that is my house that I love. Okay, so now I'm done answering all the questions. Um, so I have two little things to tell you about. The first one is that um, on MuggleNet they released an article um, saying that Chamber of Secrets is coming out during the summer. And for me it's already summer, so I really hope it comes out soon. I'm really excited. Because um, that, like I just said, um, I, I'm really excited for it to get me back into Pottermore because, I mean, I... I just, I've kind of gotten bored with it, honestly. Um, but it is really cool, and I'm really excited to see how they do Chamber of Secrets. And then the other thing is that Emma Watson, Hermione Granger, um, answered three questions that fans asked her on Facebook on her website. And I'm going to have links to that and the MuggleNet article about Chamber of Secrets in the description. So if you want to go check that out, you can. Um, that's all for this week. Um, next week I'm going to include a Potter picture and some of the other cool um, segments that we talked about last week. And I'm going to talk about um, our character of the week, Neville Longbottom. And um, I'm, so I'll see you next week, guys. Bye!